doing this at night, and just want to show that I've had the truck for a week and a half now, and didn't even think about using the remote to remote start the truck until today. And unfortunately, realized that the truck does not remote start with the T5. So you're supposed to push the button two times. Hard to see that the red light came on right above here, which basically means the remote start doesn't work. Or it doesn't have it. Just tried to use the key fob to remote start the truck, and I get a red light on the remote, which either means it doesn't work, it's disabled, or it's not even installed. So, the way to find out is to go into settings. So this just goes to show you that the owner's manual online is outdated because it just says go to settings, vehicle settings, but on here you have to go to settings, then vehicle, then you have to scroll. Until you get to remote wrong button. Remote startup. And it says that it is enabled, but for some reason it's not starting, so there is an issue, but this does say that it has remote start typically when you buy something especially if it involves electronics either the manufacturer or the dealership and specifically with this 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat I've only had it a week and a half you would assume that there would be some default settings that either the manufacturer or the dealer would have preset on the vehicle and being a creature of habit when it comes to a key fob on this key fob it has two x and a circle with an arrow and you would assume that if you click it twice as it says the truck will remote start but the real question is does it actually have re remote start with the key fob or is it not set so i sat out here pushing the button which i'll do now and i'll push it two times just as it says but then you get a red light basically the red light means it didn't work and if you go to the owner's manual which is not printed you have to go online or download it and if you read the manual it says that the vehicle must be locked and then push the button twice well being a creature of habit i would just assume that pushing the button twice is all you would need to do but come to find out regardless of whether you lock the vehicle after your last use what you do have to do before using the remote start function is push the lock button then push 
the 2x button within three seconds and the truck will remote start i can see in a ways why this is probably set up this way because on my previous remote i would actually unintentionally remote start my truck and not even know that i had remote started it and it was because it was a single push on my previous remote so i think the reason why they did this is to make it harder to accidentally remote start the vehicle by having to push this button once the lock button once and then pushing this button twice the likelihood of unintentionally doing that sequence is highly unlikely so that's probably why they did it that way. You would assume that because it's on the, the key fob, the remote, that it's a feature, but you also have to ensure that it's enabled on the truck and that it's an available feature or an actual feature that is available on the truck. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.